Miley Cyrus is the new Adele. Now, before you all start crying about that statement, let me explain. But first, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that right away so that you can see more of Adam the Flop Bops. So Miley is one of the most famous celebrities out there, and that's really because, well, one, she's an icon, but two, Gen Z grew up with her. I mean, she was on one of the most popular childhood shows ever, and that alone set her up for fame that will last forever. But despite the fact that everybody knows who she is, her music career up until now seemed to have peaked 10 years ago. The Bangers era 10 years ago, which can you believe it's been 10 years since Bangers? That feels crazy to say. But the Bangers era was huge and gave Miley her first number one single with Wrecking Ball, but her eras after that weren't nearly as big. For the nine years following Bangers, she didn't have any number one singles and only had one solo top 10 hit, which was Malibu in 2017. So it seemed like Bangers was going to be the biggest era of her career, but now in 2023, Miley is having her biggest moment yet with her new single, Flowers. Flowers not only became Miley's first song to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, but it also became the fastest song in history to surpass 200 million streams on Spotify Spotify, taking only two weeks to do so. There is one thing that I think contributed to this the most, and that is her album Plastic Hearts. When it first came out, Plastic Hearts was severely underrated and wasn't a huge commercial success. It debuted at number two in the US and sold 60,000 units in the first week. And even though this album wasn't huge at first and didn't have any top 10 singles, it really had a tremendous amount of longevity and that's shown within the streams of the songs. The lead single Midnight Sky has over 500 million Spotify streams. Prisoner, the second single has over 600 million Spotify streams. And Angels Like You, which wasn't even a single, has over 300 million Spotify streams. So even though these songs and the album didn't chart super high, people still clearly love them because they're still getting so many streams today. If you remember, in 2020, there was a big pop rock resurgence and a large reason for this was because of Miley Cyrus and her Plastic Hearts album. At the time, everybody was really into that pop rock sound and having Miley, one of the most famous artists out there, be at the face of that resurgence just made her so much more likable amongst every single person, I believe. This was also when she was going really viral on TikTok for her covers of songs like Heart of Glass and Zombie, and those also made people fall in love with her. So Plastic Hearts was just such an important album because it brought Miley's music to so many people who probably didn't listen to her before. So going into this new era, she had so many more people interested in her music. And on top of that, she started the era off with something that is so important for every artist to experience, especially when beginning an era, which is publicity. Everybody on the internet was talking about how the song is a diss to her ex Liam Hemsworth, and there were even claims that she filmed the music video in the house that he cheated on her in with 14 different women. And this rumor was never proven to be true. People kind of just believed it and went along with it, but hey, it definitely helped the streams. Now back to the statement I made earlier comparing Miley to Adele. Even though we all know who Miley is and everybody for the most part likes her, she's never had as dedicated of a fan base as someone like Taylor Swift has with the Swifties or Nicki Minaj has with the Barbs. Fan bases like these consist of so many people that will go out of their way to make sure their fave gets to number one and there's nothing wrong with that if you're one of those people i'm not shading you at all in fact i think it's a great thing if you're that passionate about your favorite artist but what's happening with Miley right now is so organic and clearly isn't being controlled by one individual fan base. This era Miley is experiencing right now reminds me a lot of Adele because Adele, even though she has fan accounts and everything on the internet, she also doesn't have as dedicated of a fan base as artists like Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj do. But everything she releases goes number one and sells millions of copies because it's just a common thing amongst all people to like Adele and to listen to her music. And Miley having this huge moment 17 years into her career proves that everybody also likes her, even if they don't consider themselves a dedicated stan. Overall, I'm genuinely so happy that everybody is interested in Miley's music right now and it makes me so excited for her next era. I'm I made a TikTok at the beginning of January of my 2023 music industry predictions, and I predicted that Miley would have her biggest era yet with her upcoming album Endless Summer Vacation, and that it would debut at number one. And after Flower's performance, I definitely think that this is going to happen, and I am very, very happy about that. Thank you all so much for tuning into this episode of Adam the Flop Bops. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and also check out my short form content on my other social media profiles.